You ever seen The Matrix? Do you remember the part where they swallowed the gray gloop? That's my favorite part. Oh no! Gokhan, I've decided to leave this live stream. Yo, JRP, wait up. Stay a second, bro. Stay a second. The YouTuber is telling you to stay. You have to. Because um, if you want to watch me now suffer. Yuri, I'm sorry for what you're about to witness. But once again, thank you for financing my health care. Pink sauce. Pink sauce lady, okay? Everyone knows her. The pink sauce lady, you know, went viral on TikTok or whatever for her disgusting fucking gross ranch infested looking bloody just mess of a sauce that's basically glue and band-aids mushed together. She has recently claimed that she is broke. She's out of money, which is kind of ironic um, or at the very least concerning the considering the fact that she has very recently made a TikTok kind of flexing that Pink Sauce has sold over 200,000 units. It literally was is being distributed through Walmart and it's been in multiple stores. Our friend Saplo in the chat right now um, actually purchased a Pink Sauce. I don't know what he did with it. I don't know what he did with it, but you know. Ooh and gross and people were like looking at the the label and the label Jeez. had like errors and you know all this crazy oh, stuff yeah. like the, the calories didn't make sense it was made in the kitchen no fda nothing she was just like nah -uh. <laughs> <laughs> it like had right. like reasons and all like excuses and i don't remember what it had it had like stuff that was perishable and like you know showing up in like boxes and people are talking about how it's gotten high right. it's like ruined by the time it gets there so I right okay Yes, so this is kind of the appeal of the sauce. It was a, basically a meme, viral sensation, because it was so fucking disgusting, okay? And somehow, because Walmart is just so reputable for having the most delicious cuisine products, somehow it got sold in Walmart. And the company basically that she sold this through Walmart with, she is claiming scammed her effectively. And she is now claiming that she made basically no money off of the pink sauce and she's broke. And she has started a GoFundMe in order for people to effectively, you know, I guess, get her back on her feet, something like that. Pink Sauce creators start to GoFundMe after going completely broke. <laughs> Veronica Shaw, aka Chef P, went viral in 2020 for a brightly colored condiment called Pink Sauce. Do they have? Oh, here we go. Oh, baby, look at that, bro. That's the OG. That's the OG. This is fucking delicious. Look at that. So. I don't even know. Is this like her flexing? She's made a bag? Oh god, yeah, look at that. Dude, she's shaking. <laughs> she's visibly shaking while she's fucking gr grossly eating a Big Mac. Anyway, you get it, okay? The whole appeal is that it's fucking gross. She quickly saw the opportunity to take her product to the next level and started selling the sauce out of her home. This was highly criticized by the customers who complained the sauce had spoiled in the summer heat, among other issues big surprise she says she lives on twenty dollars a day yo yo me and her have a lot in common um <laughs> in her gofundme Shaw claims that dave's gourmet are not paying me and are not being transparent about records of their business arrangement as a young entrepreneur with big dreams i followed my intuition and went forth toward my dreams to create something new I made a few mistakes on the way which led me to trust a company that is trying to take everything from me. They lied to me. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged, she added. I am a single mom and I do everything for my kids. Right now I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving me $20 just to get by on a daily basis. Her GoFundMe is set at 100 k uh, but so far it's just raised about a thousand bucks. Someone said karma sucks after donating $5. Be humble. Um, for their part, Dave's Gourmet says it disagrees with Shaw's version of events, which leads us to Sensitive Society's email that he received from Dave's Gourmet. This woman obviously kind of has a history of being a little bit sketch, kind of mm, embellishing and lying a little bit, you know, given the fact that she was saying the sauce tastes great when, uh, I don't know, Sapla, what did you think about the taste of the sauce? You're the one who bought it, right? And you still have it in your possession? Is that right? 
So yeah, this is the response from the company, okay? Dave's government has adhered to the terms of the agreement with Ms. Shaw, the pink sauce lady. We disagree with Ms. Shaw's allegations. Dave's government has paid Chef Pai over $120,000 to date and it continues to make all payments as due on the time based upon the terms of the contract. We've offered to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time to go over the terms and agreements and how it relates to the payments that were made to Ms. Shaw. She's indicated that she's open to a resolution of the dispute and that the parties are in discussions. If in the last year, she's made $120,000 and she's on GoFundMe begging for money, She's almost made 1k. Why do this? The first thing that comes to mind is clout. No one really cares about- I doubt it's clout. I don't know why you would lie about this. This seems really reckless. You know what I mean? Because it would, if it came out she was lying, this would be very damaging to the brand. If I had to guess, it could actually be that the company's fucking her. But if I had to guess, she probably blew her money potentially on advertising, potentially on other things, maybe even basically social media advertising, like paying for ads and stuff like that. Um, which she has claimed, you know, she pays for most of her ads herself. One sec. Why is a little goblin messaging me right now? Why would I doubt that it's clout? I don't really doubt that it's clout, but it's just a really dumb way to get clout. Like, if she wanted to get clout, there'd be a lot smarter ways, okay? Is all I'm saying. But, yeah, basically, if I had to guess, she probably blew the money that she made. Um, maybe the contract was kind of fucked up, you know what I mean? If, if they sold 200,000 units and she's received 120,000, uh, maybe that's like them ripping her off, but not really. She's literally selling shit. <laughs> okay, not literally, but yeah, literally. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of the, uh, the situation as it stands. A bunch of people, you know, have been weighing in on this, Moist Critical, etc. And the thing that I've noted about the people who are weighing in on this, well, you know, it's a pretty simple fact. They haven't tasted the sauce. So, long story short, when um, me and Saplo parted ways, I happened to uh, collect a certain item from him. Verifiable pink sauce. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the videos covering this, actually trying the sauce. Bunch of fucking pussies and bad journalists. I'm the only good journalist here. I'm putting in the work, bro. I'm putting in the money and the time and the effort and the energy. Here's a spoiler alert, okay? Me and Saplo uh, recorded a video together. And at the end of this video, we both tried the sauce. <laughs> Come on, bro. You got this. <laughs> bro, bro, oh shit. Okay, okay. Well. <laughs> and Saplo literally was vomiting for fucking four minutes. This is on video. You'll see it in a video eventually. <laughs> this is literally a workplace finally. <laughs> Oh sh I didn't vomit, but it's bad. This has not been refrigerated for the last five months. Time flies. It reeks of rotten ranch. Ooh. This is what you get. This is what you get for tuning into the Gokunar stream at almost 3 a.m., okay? Join the damn Discord. That's the moral of this message. Anyway, okay, enough dilly-dallying. So the first thing that you'll note, oh, the lighting is actually pink. Okay, wait up. Okay, so this is the real, the real coloring, okay? You notice something? Yeah, this is pink. You see, like, the color here? The sauce color now that it has uh, been resting in my uh, closet, it's fucking gray, bro. It looks like chocolate milk left in the sun for 14 weeks. <laughs> bro. Okay, okay, back to the lighting. Yuri just- Yuri's literally looking out for my physical and mental health. She just donated me $20 to not do this. Yuri, there are certain trains that you can't stop, okay? And when it comes to me self-destructing by consuming disgusting items, I'm dedicated to the craft, you know? So what if it ruins the next couple days? So what if I get food poisoning, you know? Um, I'm on the grind. I'm on the YouTube grind. I want to show you guys how serious I am about blowing up on this platform. And everyone knows the easiest way to blow up is to do some really stupid shit. And for me, I don't like hurting other people, so I'm going to try. Now, what you'll notice is that uh, instead of getting a tiny spoon, I actually got a comically large spoon. 
Only a spoonful. <laughs> so this looks like fucking disease. You ever seen The Matrix? Do you remember the part where they swallowed the gray gloop? That's my favorite part. Oh no! Oh my god, it's on everything. Fucking hell, I'm stupid as hell. Yeah, I didn't expect that to happen, dumb fuck. Dumb weasel rat. I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, tilt the damn spoon that's full. Alright, enough dilly-dallying. This is stupid. Yuri donated $5 saying no. Yuri, you're a noob to this stream, clearly. I've eaten eggs with the shell before. That actually was disgusting. Something about the shell of that egg might have gone a little poop from the chicken. Cheers! Um. Excellent! Uh -huh. That was delicious. That was a lot better than I expected. I'm gonna put that in my salads, bro. Oh, it's hot. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Mm. Mama didn't raise no bitch. She raised a fucking garbage disposal. That really is awful. Let me just be frank. You need to understand. This comes from the frame of a guy who eats bugs. Okay, I eat bugs for real. Daily meal intake protein. So here's the ingredients that I just consumed, okay? And I'm gonna consume more. You know I'm gonna consume more. Dragon, fu <laughs> Dragon fruit puree, canola oil, coconut cream, water, sugar. So, dragon fruit puree comes before water and sugar. Distilled white vinegar. Oh, I could taste the vinegar, bro. There's so much vinegar. God, it's gross. Garlic, maltodextrin, ranch flavor. The whole time I thought it was actually ranch. Just ranch flavor. God. Salt, spices, 0.5% or less of xanthan gum colored with titanium dioxide. Preserved with sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, citric acid, and calcium disodium EDTA. Contains coconut. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm going to be able to go through an airport after this. They're going to have to deactivate a bomb in my fucking stomach. Mm. Bro. Oh, that was horrendous. You don't understand what just happened. I just swallowed like 10 different times. That was a very big mouthful. <clears throat> oh, my stomach is not going to be happy, bro. You know what's concerning? This is genuinely spicy as fuck. And there is no ingredient that should taste spicy. I'm sweating now, bro. Whew. God bless you, Yuri. I'm sorry, I hope that you don't leave the stream because this is gross. I didn't puke. I didn't puke. I'm just in pain internally now. Goking looking like I did when I got laid after prom. <laughs> what does that fucking mean? Like how happy I look? Do a YouTube short of the pink sauce diarrhea. Yo, JRP, he actually he actually stayed, bro. bro. Blood really just stayed to watch me eat the pink sauce. We love it. Ooh. Yuri, I appreciate you looking out for my best interests, but um, you got a rogue driver at the wheel today, so... I hope you enjoyed that chat. Bye-bye! Hey, you want to go?